Hey everyone, Technomentary with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the calculator on your iPhone on iOS 18. So calculator has a major update on iOS 18. In order to use that, we're going to show you what you're going to do. Now once you update it to iOS 18, you're going to find the utilities folder and go ahead and open up the calculator app. And you'll see here, when you open up the calculator app, a lot has changed starting with the ability to now look at the history where you can see the history that's going to be listed here. You can also change the mode of calculation. So if you press and hold this icon here, where it looks like a calculator, you can change from basic to scientific to math notes as well. So you can actually type in notes here, right? You can do math directly on your notes as well. So if you did a note, you can just type, you can use a pencil or write it, and it will do math for you as well. So let's see if I can get this to work. And as you can see here, it will, if it can recognize it, so let's go ahead and see, you'll see the option to be able to do math directly on it. So let's go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to do 2 plus 2 equals, and then it should recognize your thing. So we're done. And you can see here, you can go ahead and play with it as well. Lots of options available. And then you can also go ahead and check this way as well. Same exact thing. You can use the convert option as well if you need to convert currencies. It can directly do that for you. And much more going on. Like I said, a new cool update feature. As you can see here, we'll be able to also see history of things that we do in the past. This wasn't available. And then you can click on it. We can also delete that if we don't want that. So all of these features are available on iOS 18. If you haven't had the chance to check it out, go ahead and check it out. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices, especially on iOS 18. We'll see you guys next time.